Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to share with you probably my favorite purchase that I got uh, yesterday with Force Friday. It is Force Saturday, the 2nd of September today. So, um, yeah, this thing's just blown my mind actually. I've, um, you know, I spent a little while messing around with it yesterday and, you know, it looks fantastic on the shelf and, um, yeah, I just really, really like this piece. Um, and I'm, I can't wait to go out and get um, Luke's land speeder, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, assuming they'll still be around, but I think, you know, at $120 here in Australia, that'll kind of put a lot of people off. And, um, you know, I'm happy to pay that. That's probably about right if you um, convert from what they are in, in the US. Um, be nice if it was a nice even hundred, but I'm not. I'm not too fast. I'm. I'm. I'm happy to pay that. That's okay. Um, I'm just blown away by this piece. I'm so glad I picked this one. Um, like I said, I had to pick between this one and Luke's Land Speeder. And um, once I'd gone and got normally up the other figures that I wanted, um, I went back to choose which one I wanted. Um, like the, so there was only five other people in the store, so and I noticed that they didn't grab them all. And there was there was a quite good selection. Um, there was a good amount there. Oh, I went back to go and have a look, and there was one left of this one. There was one left of Ray's speeder, and there were three left of Luke's. So I just went by the logic that maybe Ray's is a bit more popular. Um, so that's the only reason why I chose it. Really, I, it could have gone either way. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy that, that I was able to start with this one. This is a fantastic piece. Um, let's see the box here. It looks really good too. Really nice artwork on it. I really like it. Comes with a little accessory. Not accessory. How to put it all together and get all your bits and pieces or your little instructions to Add the little bits and pieces on so you got the stand and you know shows you where all the opening panels are and shows you that it's number three in the series of vehicles Luke's land speed is number two and the first order tie fighter from the other year is um from a couple of years back is number one and they're still around um <laughs> they were they were four hundred dollars here in australia um in maya stores we've got a chain of stores called maya um yeah four hundred bucks and um, they've put them on clearance for 300 and yeah they're not moving still so <laughs> maybe if it comes down to 150 I might think about it but at the same time I really don't have the room for it so I'll probably skip skip that one anyway so I've, uh, I've decided to start the video with with Ray on the speeder because it was it wasn't terribly difficult to get the figure on the speeder but it was a little bit of a pain, but um, just the dynamic dynamicness of what you can do with the stand. It's on a little ball there. That's really tight, so you can get her doing some sweet angles. And it just looks really, really good. Excuse me. You know, the figure itself. I'll pop her off in a minute. But uh, we'll just have a look at the rest of the vehicle. So she's got the updated version of this, of her staff. Remember the first one had that really awkward bit of chunk of plastic for the strap there. This one looks a lot nicer. It does, it does clip in nicely there so you can hold it while she's riding. You can ride it with two hands. I like the idea that she's about to fly past her, one of Ankar's goons or something and, and hit her with hit, hit him with her stick. And that's awesome. Now I've just dropped that on the floor. Which is frustrating. <laughs> I'll get it. All good. Saved the day. Um, one of my favourite parts is this uh, the cargo net. Now it hooks on in four spots so you know you can drop it down and uh, I thought this was all going to be uh, separate pieces I thought they were just going to chuck in there but still nicely done a oh, little bit of detail weathering oh, I might dirty these up a little bit more myself but that's 
the day's findings. There's a couple of big pegs here, so it sticks on the side of the vehicle. Nicely done. But simply just there's a couple of little loops. Yeah, looks good. I think it looks quite nice. Um, had one of my followers on Instagram asked if BB-8 would fit in there. And yeah, I think he would. If you pop that open, you could slot the little BB-8 and sit him in there and go for a ride. So that was quite cool. You go to the back, these thrusters move. Or well, these sort of flares. I can't even think they'd be for turning and maneuverability. Um, I imagine. So they turn. The handlebars move, I'll get them out of the way in a minute once I take the figure off. There's a couple of little, there's a little panel there, which is where I've got her little face mask covering. I just kept that there because I knew it would be safe in there. So you get a little bit of engine detail. Around this side, another hatch there for engine detail. Then you can open that door, pop that right off. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to weather this up a little bit and make it look like there's a few different colours in there and a bit of brush brush silver and a bit of brush bronze in there and make it look a little bit a little bit more awesome. Which is good. It looks good already. I think it looks fine, but you know, I just want to put personal touches to it. Whether I actually get around to doing that, that's I don't know. <laughs> it could just be something that I never do. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. I think it looks great. Um, I'm really glad they've gone and covered up all the little screw holes which would have been used to assemble. Um, so you can see there, little squares. There, that one's got a little dangler thing on it. But overall, the speeder is fantastic. And I'll just pop the figure off. So you can see those handlebars that move back and forth. Details there on the control panel. It's got a little little pouch, little swag or sleeping bag or something there on the back. The yeah, foot pedals there move, and they've got pegs on them for the figure as well. So they really hold her feet on there. It's a little bit tricky to get them on because um, these are because you're trying to push down on the peg. They want to they want to turn, but if you you hold the foot on and pop, pop it on there, you get it on there nice and firm and it's, it's not going to go anywhere. But yeah, there's the speeder. Again, I like the base. And it looks pretty sweet. And just a really nice piece. The figure itself, I'm, I'm quite impressed with. I really like this figure of not another nice version of Ray. Let's get her in front of the camera there. The backpack is a removable piece. You can see it just sort of the straps just sort of fold around and sl sl slide in the back there. So I might just take that off actually. Some nice elements on there. Looks good. Got that extra bag on the back. It's got the gloves, which looks good too. And the face looks quite good, the head sculpt. It's nice, there's some good movement in it too. It's got the extra sort of scarf wrap around the neck as well. So it's got that double neck joint. Now if we just pop this on. There's a little peg there, a little peg on under the chin, which you, you tend not to notice too much. But uh, yeah, that just, it's meant to. It's always harder when I'm doing it from behind a camera, but. It looks okay, I think I like it more without it. But it's a nice, nice idea. But yeah, like I said, I think it looks better with without that. 
goggles look good. Just the moulding on the wraps around the head looks good too. I think they've done a good job. The only thing I'm a little bit bummed about, this is the only problem I had with it, is the uh, the fabric they've used for the soft goods. Um, I like the use of soft goods, I think they've done a fantastic job, but it's the same same material they've used for the... It feels even flimsier than the stuff they use for the sand people, but uh, you know, this, this stuff just frays so easily. And you know, I guess it, I get it works, but you know, I'm just, I'm just t touching it, I'm pulling bits off of it. Um, so I'll I'm going to replace that. I'm just going to find the right material. And you know, I'll pop that off and it's one long strip. So it wouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. I think that belt is removed. I didn't know that, but... So we can have a look underneath what she's... <laughs> have a look underneath what she's wearing underneath. Um, so yeah, I don't think that'd be too much problem to get off. Um, it's just one long strip, so I will... Uh, I'll do that at some stage and replace that. I think I think they'll just improve it. Something a little bit more weight, a little less flimsy. But she's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Try and pop that belt back on. Come on. You know what, never mind. <laughs> I can stay off for the moment. But overall, this figure's pretty good. Good range of articulation. Fits on the speeder well. You know, good. Knee joints are better than the other Ray figure as well. But we've had plenty of range at the back for movement. And yeah, it just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Definitely a quality set, which I absolutely recommend. Um, if, you, if you can work it into your budget, definitely, and you got the room for it, it's a nice piece. Um, I can't wait to, for a nice sunny day. I'm going to take it down to the beach and get a few shots in the sand. I think it'll look fantastic. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope this hasn't dragged on too long. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video. May the force be with you.